the exhibition's called Pyramid Piece and Return of the Pyramid Piece. When I was about 10 years old, I stole this tiny piece of rock from uh, the Great Pyramid of Giza uh, in Egypt. And it became, to me as a kid, this kind of strange guilt object because I, I couldn't really understand why I'd, why I'd wanted to take something authentic rather than buy, buy, a, um, buy a replica. And, and um, yeah, so it kind of, in my mind, it became inflated. It became this strange, yeah, strange guilt object. And uh, then it occurred to me um, a year or so ago to... Uh, try and um, well, travel back to Cairo and find the exact space in the pyramid which I'd taken it from and put the rock back. In the video, Return of the Pyramid piece, it shows me travelling back to the pyramid 15 years later and trying to find the exact spot from which I'd stolen the rock and putting it back in. In a way, this is the starting point of the whole group of works. Um, it's filmed by uh, a man called Hassan, who I met in... Uh, by chance in a cafe in Cairo. And this is why he'd never used a video camera before, which is why you get this quite um, unconventional use of the zoom. As he, uh, and often you can almost feel his brain ticking where he, he wants to zoom uh, in and he accidentally zooms out. And then, um, but he, he, did, he was, you know, did a brilliant job and uh, under quite under pressured situation because you're not really supposed to be climbing on the side of the pyramid as that's not allowed anymore. Where it becomes kind of ridiculous is that you see the size of the piece of rock in my hand and then as the, as the camera zooms in you can see how eroded the side of the pyramid just is and how many gaps and holes and, and years and hundreds and thousands of years of erosion. Although on the one hand you have this anecdote about me taking this piece of rock from the pyramid and then travelling to put it back. On the other hand, the sculpture then becomes hopefully something else again. It tries to break away from the narrative and become, uh, a, uh, become something else. It's kind of a monument to the piece of the monument. It's enlarged a uh, hundred times in length and a hundred thousand times in volume. It took nearly a year to make. Uh, it's all through, uh, through knitted yarns um, and upholstery foam over the steel framework. The knitted surface was made by small knitting machines, which I made in the studio with a, uh, a friend of mine. It never quite worked out exactly how much yarn we used, but it's, a, it's 50 square metres of, of knitted material. And we had a kind of colour chart in the studio wall with all the, with the lightest yellow cones on one end to, to the, the darkest browns on the other. And then, we'd, and then as we were doing it, we'd sort of pick off the cone, feed it in, and, and, to keep, and then cut that one out, put the next one in so that we could keep the colours constantly rippling and changing. So with the... Um, the, the small souvenir pyramids, the idea was, well, it was after I'd returned the rock to the pyramid on the second trip, I uh, had a few days in Giza and I was looking around the, the tourist shops and became just fascinated by the huge variety of different possibilities that were, they had for the souvenirs. And I was interested in that question of, that I was asking myself of what was it the first time that made me want to take something authentic rather than buy a, a sanctified souvenir. And um, so I just I decided that it'd be interesting to buy set myself the challenge of buying every different possible variation on the, uh, of the pyramid souvenir that I could find in Cairo and uh, then just brought them all back in a, in a suitcase. And it wasn't sure at the time that that would be a sculpture in any way, but the way you encounter them, often they were laid out on the street on rugs or on, on low tables. And, and, that, and the image of looking over them, and I suppose the, the, one of the central ideas of the whole group of works is the idea of scale and the idea of how, if you change the scale, how the... Um, object can kind of reveal a lot more of its meaning that wasn't necessarily apparent uh, initially. So with these, there's something, something nice about being able to stand and look over this, this uh, small tabletop of pyramids.